In my last video, I talked about used equipment values and how there's a shortage of used equipment and how if you've got a good late model tractor, it'll bring a premium right now. Well, today I'm gonna to tell you, and I hate to do this, about some tractors that just won't bring a premium now or anytime, at least in my experience. Now, if you own one, there's nothing wrong with them. Use them, love them, get great production out of them and all that stuff, and don't yell at me because I'm just telling you what the market is telling me. And, and at least in my area, these tractors will not bring a premium now or ever. And the first class, and, and Bill the Tractor Man, there's a guy out there who's gonna be really mad at me because he loves old gas tractors. But I really struggled in my career in the equipment business to trade for and make any money off used old gas tractors. And hey, I get it that we love gas engines because they start in the winter, they're easy to work on and all that stuff. But the fact that some of these older tractors are getting hard to get parts for, uh, they are easy to work on, but if you can't get parts, that's a problem. Uh, salvage yards running out of stuff. And a lot of our customers just like the modern conveniences of power steering and a front end loader and all that other stuff that goes with that. And yeah, you might be able to add power steering to an old gas tractor. You might be able to put a front end loader on it, but it's still an older gas tractor. And like I said, don't get mad at me if you've got one because they're great. If you like older gas tractors, they just don't maintain the resale value very well. And that's not me saying that, that's the market telling me. The second thing that doesn't hold its value is a two-wheel drive compact tractor. And if you're, if you're in that 40 horsepower and up range, four-wheel drive is not as big a deal. I grew up on about a anywhere from a 40 to a 63 horsepower two-wheel drive tractor with a loader. And I'm in hills. We got along just fine with it, never got stuck ever. If you've got enough weight in the tractor, you can maintain traction even in pretty muddy conditions with a two-wheel drive tractor. But if you've got a smaller tractor, they struggle to maintain traction with two-wheel drive. And I'm talking about anything probably under about 40 horse. It all depends on the size of the tractor. If it's a utility tractor, a bigger tractor with some weight in it, it can maintain traction uh, with two-wheel drive. But if it's a small tractor, like a compact tractor or subcompact, and it's two-wheel drive, uh, the resale value on those is awful. If you're looking at one and you make an offer on it, you'll probably own it. Make a low offer. The third type of tractor that doesn't sell too well is tractors with turf tires. And if you're on turf all the time and you don't ever get out and need extra traction, uh, that turf tires work out fine. And a lot of people want turf tires. But if you're trying to use a loader and you're in muddy conditions, you can run out of traction. And uh, you couple a two-wheel drive, uh, which a lot of the older tractors were, a two-wheel drive compact tractor with turf tires, and you've got a, a real hard-to-move item there. The next group of tractors that doesn't sell well is any compact tractor without a front-end loader. And a lot of folks think they can buy an older compact and put a loader on it. And yeah, you can. There are aftermarket loader manufacturers that, that build loaders for anything, really. But the problem is economics. When you figure the price of putting that loader together and getting it to you and then getting the hydraulics and everything put together and putting that on, a lot of times you'll have more money in that front end loader than you've got in the tractor. And is the tractor worth more? Yeah. But is it worth double? No. Most of the time not. So if you're looking at an older uh, compact tractor without a loader and make sure it's four wheel drive, uh, get it cheap so you can afford to put that loader on it. Now a lot of folks think they can find a used loader and used loaders just almost don't exist. And at the end of the video, I'll put a video, I'll put a link to a video I did talking about that, uh, uh, trying to get a, a loader for a used compact tractor. And it's, a, it's really tough to make it work out economically. The next area of tractors that's not holding its resale value very well, and there's really big exceptions to this, is tractors with brands that don't exist anymore. They don't have a dealer network in North America to support the tractors anymore. And sometimes there's exceptions to that. And I'm gonna talk about one that's a big one that, that really hurt the resale value when the company pulled out and others that have done away with the brands but they still got resale value, in, in, in my opinion. And, and the one that went away that I remember was Long. 
Long was a Romanian company that sold lots and lots of tractors in my area and over a big part of the Midwest. And then they went down in a ball of flames and it went away. And uh, it got hard to get parts for them. You couldn't get parts from Long because they were out of business. Now, the internet has changed a lot of that. If you've got a Long tractor, there's people online that have found out where they can find the different parts for Long and, and the internet has, has saved a lot of these brands. And if you've got a long tractor, there's a good chance you can get a lot of the parts for it, maybe most of them. But the fact that they don't exist anymore is a psychological thing to a lot of customers. Now, let's talk about some tractors that, that I would not be afraid of, and you might find a bargain on these. I worked for Agco for 10 years, and Agco had their own brand of tractor, Agco Alice, and later just Agco. Here's a picture of me driving a pretty good size Agco Alice tractor at a product introduction back in the mid-90s. But now the Agco Alice and Agco Compact tractors and later a lot of their mid-range tractors were almost identical to Massey Ferguson. Well, the Agco brand is gone, but the Massey's still around and the Massey dealers generally can get parts for the Agco tractors. So I don't think you're going to see a big drop in resale value just because that brand went away and white tractors are the same way, owned by Agco and went away. But uh, you can still find most of the parts for them and not a problem. So. If it's a brand that is not in North America anymore, doesn't have any dealer network, um, those, those brands don't maintain their resale value and are not selling at a premium. Now the last group of tractors today that doesn't have much resale value is any tractor, late model, it doesn't matter, that has just been beaten up. And we always had a saying in our dealership that I worked at, sometimes you can put a little more money in the cream puffs than you think you should and you'll get that out of them. They'll bring more than you think they will. But always the junk, the stuff that has been beaten up, not been maintained by the customer, you can't put too little money in them. They will always bring less than you think they will and they take a long time to sell. So if you've got a tractor that you've just trashed and you've not maintained and you've not changed the oil and it's got it just battered where stuff has fallen on it, don't expect to get a premium even in today's hot market. So I, again, I don't want to rain on anybody's parade, but those are tractors from my experience in this area that are just really darn hard to sell. And even at a time when we're short of inventory and uh, tractors are selling at a premium, those tractors are not and they never will. Appreciate you watching my videos. I'd be honored if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can do that by clicking the mic face icon and checking the bell so you're notified when I post future videos. Here's a link to my website and the tractor fun store with unique items for sale for the tractor owner that helps support my channel. And here's a video about buying a tractor without a loader. Thanks for watching.